Patty Rankin here with your weekly Soaps Roundup, and there's a lot going on in the show, so let's jump right into your highlights on The Bold and the Beautiful. After a heart-to-heart -heart with Ridge, Steffi realized there was no reason to put off marrying Finn. Now, as Finn prepared to reveal his big secret, his father, Jack, arrived, and it came out that Finn was adopted and never knew his biological mother, who gave him up. Although this didn't make any difference to Steffi, Jack seemed to be keeping something from his son. Meanwhile, Carter and Quinn couldn't keep their hands off one another, which we all knew was coming. After Quinn turned up at Forrester Creations, Brooke blasted her, and Ridge urged Eric to wash his hands of the jewelry designer. Eric admitted he was partially to blame for Quinn turning to another man, leaving Brooke concerned that he might eventually forgive her. Coming up, a mystery woman arrives just as Steffi's big day is about to get started. What are the odds? Okay, well, Days of Our Lives fans, as you know, it has still been preempted for the Summer Olympics for one more week, but we do have some fun scoop for you. When the soap returns, we can tell you that Marla Gibbs, remember her, will be reuniting with her 227 co-star, Jack A. Harry, to play the mother of Jack A.'s character, Paulina. How cool is that? 227 was one of my favorite sitcoms back in the day. Storyline-wise, we'll find out whether kidnapping Sarah on her wedding day will help Ben win back her affections and what EJ will do now that he knows Sammy slept with Lucas. Now, over on General Hospital, Finn confessed to Anna that he killed Peter and dumped him in a freezer in Helena's secret lab under General Hospital. Now, at the same time, Liz told Jason what she and Finn had done, but when Anna and Finn opened the freezer, Peter's body was gone, and Jason told Liz that he intended to move the body, but it was gone when he got there. So the big question is, is Peter's body missing, or was he not dead when they put him in the freezer? Talk about stupid criminals. Okay, as Spencer continued to play mind games with Ava to keep her away from his father, Nicholas was trying to convince Sam, Sean, and Liz to forget about looking for Hayden. And at Wiley's birthday party, Austin spied on Chase and found out the cop was able to stand on his own and take a few steps. Coming up, Brooklyn gets suspicious of Michael. Finally, on The Young and the Restless. Well, our favorite devious diva, Phyllis, set a trap by texting Tara from Sally's phone. Now, Phyllis then recorded the two women arguing about how much she'd figured out, and when Jack later caught Sally in a lie, he washed his hands of her. Phyllis then tried to find out how Sally's recent trip to LA was connected to Summer's departure, and when Victor and Nikki checked in with their granddaughter in Italy, Summer admitted she wasn't happy. Now, Ashland agreed to fight his cancer and made arrangements for treatment in New York, of all places. And as we learned Mariah was being held hostage by a mystery person, Tessa was disturbed to realize that her missing girlfriend's phone couldn't be tracked. Coming up, Phyllis hopes that Bold and Beautiful's Eric can help her solve a mystery. Oh, yes, you guys, it's the old soap swap. That's it for this week. Have a great week, and we'll see you next time on the Weekly Soaps Roundup.